ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಾಧಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸುಕ್ತ ಭಿನ್ನಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದುಗವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಕ್ವಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತ್ಗಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವಿತುಲೈಕೇಶ್ವಸಜ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪರಿದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೂಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರು ದೇಹ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಜನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಸಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫೋರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕವಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಶತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ವಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರಿ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೆ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕ ಗೌರಿ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯಪದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ 
यस्यास्तेदसंभिहिं भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे श्रवणाया पीवहवि रजोन लभ्य सनंतयो पीवहवयं न विदुः आश्चर्यश्च वक्ता कुशलो अश्वलवद आश्चर्य ज्ञाता कुशलानुसृष्टः श्रवणाया पीवहवि रजं लजं लभ्य शनंत योगि बहुवो जमनो विदु आश्चर्य श्वक्ता कुशलो अश्वलवदा आश्चर्य ज्ञाता कुशलान सृष्टा गौरी गोष्ठी प्रति श्री सिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभात सिला भक्ति सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभात टोल्ड that in the the prakrit jagat vani the prakrit jagat sadhu and all the darshan of a prakrit jagat everything is done by our uh, serving mood if we want to get darshan of a sadhu then we have to get it darshan from our ears by listening to harikatha and just by Hearing Harikatha, we can just get the darshan of Aprakrit Sadhu. By ears only, it is possible to get the Aprakrit darshan of that transcendental world. By your material eyes, by your material sense organs, you can't get darshan of that transcendental world. Prabhupada always used to speak that he'll become Fazil. Fazil means he's, he'll, he'll become nothing, just an ass. Srila Prabhupada just speaking, Jagat Guru is t- telling us that to get the transcendental darshan, we just need to uh, get it from our ears. Whatever the name, form, Leela and the Dham and all the Prakrit Jagat's uh, transcendental Guru Vaishnav can only be th- through oral reception it is possible to get darshan of the transcendental world. We have to hear that. If someone, if someone comes with a challenging mood, uh, that uh, he is coming with his own vichardhara, that he just want to measure the Guru Vaishnav, then Prabhupada used to speak that that this is uh, he becomes fajil, he he'll, he'll become nothing. He'll be uh, nothing, like he is useless. And this is not uh, the thing of the material world. This is the actual uh, Siddhant Vichara of transcendental world. Our material sense organs, eyes, etc. We can see only the material things, not the transcendental objects. We can't see the transcendental uh, world with our material sense organs, with our material mind and material sense organs. It is not possible at all. It is not at all uh, seen by our material sense organs. We just have to realize this uh, transcendental uh, object. It is not possible with our material sense organs. Prabhupada always used to speak this point that with your material mind you cannot in Bengali Prabhupada used to speak this point Prabhupada always used to speak that that to have material uh, which are all prakritik vichar like material vichar inside your mind 
प्रभुपाद यूज टू स्पीक ऑलवेज देर टू गेट दिस मटीरियल मटीरियल थॉट इन योर माइंड यू कैनोट एस्टिमेट यू कैनोट एस्टिमेट ट्रांसेंडेंटल विचार एंड यू कॉन्ट ब्लेम दैट ट्रांसेंडेंटल विचारधारा बिकॉज ऑल द ट्रांसकेंडेंटल विचारधारा इट इज नॉट इट इज नॉट इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ द मटीरियल सेंस ऑर्गन्स एंड वी ऑलवेज थिंक दैट ट्रांसकेंडेंटल विचारधारा इज ऑलवेज इक्वल एंड टू द मटीरियल विचारधारा बट इन एक्चुअल इट इज लाइक इट इज द अरेजमेंट ऑफ भगवान वेन एवर एनी जीव स्पेशली इन द ह्यूमन बींग ही इज जस्ट बिकम ही वॉज जस्ट चाइल्ड इन द अर्ली चाइल्ड हुड एज एंड देन ही द फर्स्ट ऑर्गन दैट इज वर्किंग फॉर हिम इज द ओरल रिसेप्शन बट बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ कृष्णा वेन वेन अ चाइल्ड टेक्स बर्थ बट वेन अ चाइल्ड टेक्स बर्थ our oral reception our ear just get activated because of that uh, the small child his ears are the first organs which are get activated by shri krishna he he can't see he see with his eyes when a, a new child is born at that time also if you will do some clapping or do some sound with your hand also then uh, that child can hear where yeah his eyes will go either and either way it is just the grace of shri krishna what does it mean actually whatever our uh, sense organs it will get maturity before getting any maturity our oral reception should be very much stronger because it is just by grace of krishna that we are getting the first organ to get activated that is called oral reception so that he can understand the sadhu with his ears with his ears and these all are the principal limbs of bhakti so the total all together the total vichar is like this that kirtan is the topmost kirtan is the topmost uh, of all the principal limbs of bhakti why because by doing shravanam by doing kirtan what is shravan if kirtan is not there then how you have the chance to do shravan if there is no kirtan then only is a chance that you can do shravan otherwise not so by doing bhagavad bhakti all the all the principal limbs of all the bhakti which is all the nine major uh, principal limbs of bhakti archanam bandanam saksham eh atmanivedanam bahut sare ye sab vyavastha nine no kisim ka all these nine principal limbs of bhakti the topmost is kirtanam topmost is the kirtan akha bhakti because if it is if there is no kirtan then you can't do shravan as well you can't hear shri krishna sankirtan shri krishna sankirtan hamara paramarthik zindagi ka is uh, actually uh, decides decides the capacity of our uh, how of our transcendental hamara uh, uh, criteria that we have to follow in our spiritual life in our spiritual life uh, shravan is the topmost uh, procedure which we have to follow we have to do kirtan automatically we will get the benefit of shravan and if we are not doing kirtan then we can't get the benefit of uh, shravan so that's why kirtan is the topmost limb of all principal limb of bhakti shri krishna sankirtanam should be applied for the benefit of our spiritual life and it will give us immense uh, treasure of krishna prema as well in the krishna naam also all the uh, sarva shakti and everything is there in krishna naam it is complete krishna naam ka andar mein sarva shakti sarva 
एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग इज देयर ऑल द लीलाज ऑल द धाम नाम परिक्र एवरीथिंग इज देयर इन श्री कृष्ण नाम एंड इट हैज ऑल द शक्ति इन साइड इट एंड द टॉप मोस्ट साधन फल इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन श्री हरि नाम एंड द टॉप मोस्ट सिद्धि ऑल्सो इज प्रेजेंट इन हरि नाम इन श्री श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम इट इज प्रेजेंट वॉट महाप्रभु हैज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट भगवान श्री कृष्ण हरिनाम इन हरिनाम एवरी थिंग इज देयर वॉट एवर वी वॉट एवर आवर क्रिया इज देयर वॉट एवर प्रवृत्ति इज देयर वॉट एवर आवर धारणा एंड वॉट एवर आवर चिंतन इज देयर एवरी थिंग इज देयर इन साइड हरिनाम इन श्री कृष्ण नाम इट इज ऑल द थिंग्स कैन गेट रेगुलेटेड बाय श्री कृष्ण नाम एवरी थिंग विल गेट रेगुलेटेड बाय श्री कृष्ण नाम वॉट एवर अवर थिंकिंग पावर वॉट एवर आवर धारणा पावर एक्चुअली एवरी थिंग कैन गेट रेगुलेटेड बाई कृष्ण नाम श्री कृष्ण नाम गेट्स वेन श्री कृष्ण नाम गेट्स गेट्स ऑन टू अवर टंग देन ऑल द सीन्स ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड जस्ट गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉइड and whatever the all the all the kind of things we just want to get all the kinds of material uh, lust bhoga everything which we want to enjoy everything is get destroyed by shri krishna naam and whatever the facilities uh, we just want to uh, get inside our material life it all gets destroyed by shri krishna naam everything shri krishna Shri, in Shri Krishna Nam, everything uh, related to bhakti is uh, present there, and all the uh, regulations of the material uh, world is just gets destroyed. By Hari Nam Sankirtan only, we can get into in the way of uh, bhakti, and whatever all the uh, bondage is there in the way of uh, Krishna Nam, Krishna Bhajan, it all get destroyed. so it is not uh, the krishna krishna nam is not uh, the shri krishna nam is not the uh, way for a sadhan bhakti it is not uh, a kriya of sadhana rather jaik we it is it is not like if we can do sadhan then you can do shri krishna nam it is not possible shri krishna nam is is swayam sadhan as well as sadhya tattva because in krishna nam everything everything uh, treasure is hidden there and it can get uh, uh, and it can get in front of us just by the help of shri krishna naam otherwise it is not possible so whatever the fruit we are getting of the by sadhan and sadhya vastu is all present in shri krishna naam भगवान श्री कृष्ण शुड बी डन अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ अ गुरु वर्ग गुरुदेव वैन द गुरुदेव हैज गिवन हरि नाम दैट बेटा यू जस्ट हैव टू डू कृष्ण नाम ईच एंड एवरी टाइम अंडर गुरु अनुगत्य ओनली श्री कृष्ण नाम शुड बी डन अदर प्रभुपाद ऑलरेडी टोल दिस पॉइंट बिकॉज इन कृष्ण नाम इन कृष्ण नाम एवरी थिंग इज एवरी थिंग इज देयर इन साइड कृष्ण नाम भगवान श्री कृष्ण नाम बाय सर्विंग द नेम द एक्चुअल मंगल ऑफ द जीवा ही कैन अटेन ओनली बाय श्री कृष्ण नाम इट कैन इट कैन गेट इन टू द ओशन ऑफ नित्यानंद ever blissful only by krishna naam only we can get nityanand we can get into the ocean of uh, transcendental bliss bhagwan shri krishna is name is uh, topmost it has uh, all the transcendental rasa available in that 
सो गॉड सुंदर इज आवर टॉप मोस्ट आश्रय विग्रह He is uh, the topmost so, ashray vikra for us, and uh, whatever uh, there in this material world, whatever there uh, uh, ashray ashray tattva are there in this material world, the topmost ashray of all the all the material world is Gaur Sundar, Gaur Sundar of Krishna himself also. He has come in the form of devotee and has done the same achran. What, how to do bhajan? And Shri Krishna is the topmost. Uh, Shri Krishna Nam Sankirtan is the topmost way to get uh, entry into the Bhagavad Dharma. And it is just the uh, reflect, the reflect, actual reflection of uh, uh, Bhagavad Dharma, and it is the topmost treasure. and it is the topmost is the topmost yagya shri krishna sankirtan is the topmost archan and shri krishna naam is the topmost dhyan you can understand you can draw this in the swap satya dvipa dwapar kali uh, there is uh, only one priority given to shri krishna naam only in kali yuga इन कलिकाल ओनली देर इज ओनली वन एडवांटेज दैट देर आर काउंटलेस एडवांटेज इज इन कलिकाल but uh, kal- in kalikal everyone can go to hell but there is one advantage that we can do naam sankirtan only by naam sankirtan only we can get, just get delivered just by taking naam sankirtan just by doing naam sankirtan slowly steadily what will happen everything will you will get ओनली बाई श्री कृष्ण नाम संकीर्तन इन कलयुग एवरी थिंग वी कैन गेट दैट्स बाई गौर सुंदर हैज जस्ट केम इन दिस कलिकाल विद नाम संकीर्तन वेर एवर महाप्रभु हैज टॉट अस अबाउट श्रवण कीर्तन वेर महाप्रभु हैज गिवन द उपदेश ऑन साध्य साधन तत्व he has only described only one uh, point that is naam sankirtan is the top most in this kali yuga it is the actual sadhan sadhan tattva uh, this we will discuss so in the satyog by the fruit which we get uh, by doing dhyan so in in kaliyug we can't even uh, stay 5 minutes in one place stay at one place so that's why shri krishna uh, prabhu told that shri naam sankirtan that is the topmost mahadhyan for us the topmost dhyan for us with meditation for us and by krishna only it is possible that in treta yog all the whatever the fruit we get of uh, yagya and treta yog we can get through naam sankirtan and uh, by shri krishna naam sankirtan only we can get the fruit of the topmost archan as well slowly and steadily we will get the maha uh, fruit of maha archan and maha yagya as well by just meditating on uh, lotus feet of shri krishna naam sankirtan these are all uh, nothing but topmost is uh, bhagwan shri naam sankirtan and now one question comes that naam sankirtan in the in the form of hari katha hari kirtan can come in our life by the lotus mouth of the sadhu guru vishnu 
the transcendental sound vibration coming from their mouth is the actual treasure of the transcendental world bhagwan shri krishna this naam sankirtan i am just talking about in this naam sankirtan in bondage in bondage state there is some restrictions just we have to understand about this point very carefully bhagwan shri bhagwan's naam sankirtan is uh, top most but if you want to do this sankirtan then what kind of sankirtan it will be what kind of sankirtan you want to do by just, just taking the shelter of roop gun leela uh, parikar and whatever is there so our guru vag have given us some restriction in this point that if uh, some uh, if uh, some consciousness of one person just get destroyed and he said that he just want to do he want to uh, do the naam sankirtan of the leela vilas of radha govind what what will happen wrong if i'll do that then guru varg has uh, just strictly told us that mahajano yeno gatu sapandhya that we have to mahajan vyaktiyon ne jo rasta whatever the mahajans our previous mahajans have given us the pathway that pathway we have to take baaki apna otherwise our own self pathway if we'll go on that way then that will bring us all the unhappiness and distress otherwise no other vichar will stand in the way apart from what guru varg has told us if someone can understand that in our sampraday uh, there is a nothing uh, major and what prabhupad has told us that na- you do naam sankirtan as you don't do naam sankirtan they had the uh, prabhupad has given us the order previous uh, week i already have discussed about this point that bhagwan shri krishna chaitanya leela we have to remember we have to uh, grab it through guru vaishnav in order to grab that uh, it comes in the form of a it comes it, it comes in the kanishth form through shadko swamis by taking the shelter of rup goswami path whatever the uh, uh, instructions given by uh, rup goswami path through shri upadesh amrit that is the top most and we have to take shelter of those instructions given by shri rup goswami path and the instructions given by shri chaitanya mahaprabhu whatever the shiksha it is written in the shiksha ashtakam of gorang mahaprabhu that how you have to do krishna bhajan what is the hidden treasure of krishna bhajan and how to get uh, get actual uh, transcendental treasure and uh, you can't uh, with your material sense organs you can't uh, uh, get material bliss uh, transcendental bliss and it is also given there that what is the adhikar of a sadhak and you uh, what is in the bhakti sadhan kshetra you have to take the shelter of a sadguru and this can also you can get just by grace of guru vaishnav but like sahajiya we don't have to do all rubbish regarding this shila rup ko swami pad subdesh amrit under their guidance only if we take the if we just get the instructions of gorang mahaprabhu then whatever the instruction given by gorang mahaprabhu what mahaprabhu has ge- wanted to wanted to give give us everything we we can get that in our life for our spiritual progress the prakritras and aprakritras whatever the confusion is there regarding this there is one point that i want to just touch that that in gita bhagwan shri krishna already spoke speaking to arjun in the 8th adhyay uh, 8th adhyay 8th shloka भगवान श्री कृष्ण स्पीकिंग एट्थ श्लोक ऑफ द एट्थ अध्याय अभ्यास योग युक्तेन चेतसा नानुगामिना 
परमं पुरुषम दिव्यम याति पार्थानु चिंतयन when our heart is settled in a settled position and it is not going higher and higher way and when our heart is just getting stable in uh, in a fixed position then at that point then our attention then when uh, anavadhan means when there is no attention then he is doing everything but his mind is some, somewhere else that's why when our material mind is not going anywhere and he is just getting stability and getting fixed on one thing when the ch- when the material mind is not becoming anyagami it is not going either either way then whatever sankhari naam sankirtan hari katha is going anywhere but our attention is not there because uh, it is a vishay of actual preeti attachment it is the vishay of actual attachment we can see that in the material world as well that uh, this preeti is always related to smriti what so preeti when there is smriti there is preeti automatically so preeti and smriti are interrelated to each other when our attention just uh, become instable then it is the reason for mahadosh and we can't and we can we can't can't get uh, uh, we can't get uh, we can't get out of the instability of our mind which is already created and we will not get uh, stability of our mind uh, that f- uh, that our mind will not be uh, fixed on one point at that point what happens shri naam prabhu then by uh, by doing abhyas yog under the guidance of guru vaishnav if you just go on practicing uh, this abhyas yog and when your ha- material mind is just fixed on one point that is then your material mind is not going anywhere and it is just fixed under the guidance of sadguru vaishnav then we can get out of the mahadosh of then we can get rid of that mahadosh of our in of our material life then under the under the shelter of naam prabhu if we get the shelter under the guidance of sadguru vaishnav then we can just remember mahaprabhu uh, naam prabhu it is already written in uh, gita shloka there is this abhyas or we have to we have to do it under the guidance of guru vaishnav uh, the abhyas or when it will become successful later in our sadhan life when our material mind is just getting fixed in one point and it is not getting instable and it is not going higher and higher way then what happens then paramam purusham dibbam yati parthanu chintayam us samay then at that time anavadhan roop mahadosh ka then that at that time that we can get rid of the mahadosh of this material sansar we can get rid out of that at that time by the kripa of shri hari naam uh, by just getting the regular association of shri naam prabhu and it is there inside our mind material mind every time we can feel that all the time 
अनुचिंतन मीन्स दैट अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ शुद्ध गुरु प्योर गुरु वैष्णव अंडर देयर इंस्ट्रक्शन अंडर देयर गाइडेंस देयर इज नो इंस्ट्रक्शन कमिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दैट इज अनुचिंतन वेन देयर इज नो वेन देयर इज नो गैपिंग बिटवीन द when there is no gapping between your uh, thinking on one point and the other point when there is no gapping that is called anuchintan anuchintan us samay ho sakta hai the anuchintan is possible only when se rup ke dwara se hari naam prahun when we go do shri hari naam under the guidance of shri pure guru vaishnav we can get what the swaroop what our swaroop is what is our uh, natural swaroop of our atma then when it just gets established inside our heart and material mind then at that time what happens then it is very useful for us very useful for the spiritual life that's why bhakti mr thakur speaking guru vaishnav ka anugrah under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav we have to anushilan we have to do anushilan then our material mind will not go hither thither way and it will get fixed and will get all the attention and it will get out of the mahadosh of this material world and after that what happens the stage which i am already discussing that stage you can develop that you can uh, automatically develop uh, uh, the sm- uh, smaran and kirtan of naam prabhu inside your material mind and then you can get uh, the actual swarup of your atma and it will automatically get established you will that jiva will get established in that in his swarupa before that it is not possible the transcendental vani swarup of uh, the transcendental world what to speak about the rastat we can't go up till that point in the kathopanishad i have already spoken this point that this atma tatva we if uh, to do to do the remembrance of this atma tatva is very difficult if if someone wants to hear about that atma tatva so that the thing comes that from where we will hear that atma tatva that atma tatva Uh, from where we will uh, we will uh, hear about that atma tatva it is very rare this atma tatva vishay is uh, to to remember this and to hear this atma tatva it is very rare because and sometimes it happens that if we hear about that atma tatva it just doesn't get into our realization why because 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 uh, that uh, the realized soul the realized uh, the person who has realized that tatva is uh, uh, very uh, really present in this uh, material world because on that atma also there should be a person who is more superior to that atma and if some uh, upadeshak is there who can speak about that absolute truth with realization but that shraddha is more and more rare so there is no question about that so where is the way especially this upadesh amrit by the help of this upadesh amrit while discussing this shri upadesh amrit we can uh, find we can get the anugatya of the instructions of the gorang mahaprabhu such as shiksha ashtakam of gorang mahaprabhu we can get about the sambandha vijay prayojan tatva and what is the actual bhava of shri gorang mahaprabhu what mahaprabhu has given wanted to give to the whole world it is very important to get the instructions of the upadesh amrit given by shri rup group ko swami pad and and shri sachidanand bhakti no thakur also speaking one point 
Achila Bhakti Thakur also speaking that that all these Rasa Kirtan who always who are just uh, doing business of this Rasa Kirtan what is the actual value of that Rasa Kirtan nothing and all those uh, and all those Rasa Kirtan should uh, Vaishnav should hear this or not all the Raskirtan who are actually they have just uh, opened one business market uh, what is the value of that uh, Rasakirtan and uh, and for all those questions it is uh, uh, good or not so then Prabhupada already speaking about this point that those persons who are uh, becoming uh, re- re- Leela Ras Gayak who are just singing the uh, Ras, uh, Leela Ras of Radha Govind and those who want or just like businessmen are just uh, uh, taking money out of it Prabhupada and Bhakti Thakur speaking that uh, in uh, by externally they are just uh, you can see them they are uh, uh, Rasik Bhakta but internally they are just uh, uh, Bhogi but actually they are not Rasik they are there is there is no Rasa transcendental Rasa inside their heart Externally, they are just showing it. Vaishnav Siddhant is very uh, complicated and uh, without uh, uh, without hearing from pure Guru Vaishnav, it will just be compared with the material rasa only. So, if we will discuss about the material rasa and the transcendental rasa, externally, it looks it looks that they are Rasik Bhakta, but internally they are nothing. They are devoid of that mat- uh, transcendental rasa. Rasa Bhutsunna means they are uh, devoid of uh, transcendental rasa and uh, they are uh, against uh, the Vaishnav Siddhanta. And they all just uh, give us the instructions about rasa. Ras Virod and Rasabhas and Bhaktivinoda Thakur also speaking that whatever they are singing of uh, whatever they are sing they are singing of uh, uh, the this uh, uh, Rasa uh, transcendental Rasa all their rag ragini and whatever the sur they are uh, just uh, uh, speaking in the by just uh, um, externally uh, uh, singing that Rasa. Uh, transcendental rasa all they are just like uh, doing entertainment in a material way but that is not actual uh, entertainment transcendental entertainment so their other achran and their etiquette and what they are showing like sahajiya they are showing their bhajan and whatever they are just uh, uh, singing in their heart but where is that Mahajan Pad? Where is that gravity of that Mahajan? Where is the actual Gurutva of that Mahajan? Acharyaship of that Mahajan? That is absent in them. Bhaktivano Thakur speaking that uh, all actually are uh, foolish number one. All people, they are just giving money for them. Just for this uh, two paisa bhav and four paisa bhav, they are just throwing money on them. All those foolish people are just throwing money on them and they are just uh, uh, entertaining them just by gi- throwing money on them. And uh, by their false ego, they always have their chest up, full f- blown up l- with air. And Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur is also speaking that the person who is not uh, at all adhikari of that rasa uh, for him ras kirtan for him ras kirtan uh, remembering and uh, just uh, doing in front of anyone is strictly prohibited and shila bhakti mathagur always speaking that those who don't have any adhikar in that uh, transcendental rasa it is he can't do any rasa kirtan. It is prohibited for him.
in this material world most of the persons they they are actually foolish most of the people are foolish they can't understand because their mind is actually mad they are crazy because if if uh, there is uh, 8 crore uh, 8 crore population mostly 50% of the people of this population their mind is disbalanced they have a different uh, uh, attitude and different uh, and a different thinking always they have different thinking and different mentality so mostly 50% of the population of this whole 8 crore population are having a dismantled and a uh, unstable mind they just by the taking the name of that uh, aparakrit jagat transcendental world they are just always uh, wanted to get enjoyment in this uh, material uh, rasa by all these uh, all these rubbish vichar dhara when it will not get uh, when it will not get devoid off from their mind up till then that transcendental rasa cannot enter inside their heart and material mind and they can't understand the actual gravity and evaluation of that transcendental rasa it is outside their uh, material mind what is the gravity of the shringar ras they can't understand that because they have always material uh, consciousness and they will just think uh, with that only bhakti vinod thakur also speaking that all these devotees they are all swarth par gayak always they are just uh, tasting the material uh, rasa and uh, and uh, they are just uh, under the not under the guidance of the vaishnavas they are just uh, relishing material rasa because they are not following vaishnava if they don't go under the guidance of a sahajiga it we should be very careful because we should know uh, we should not get into the hands of a sahajiga why they get into uh, the association of sahajiga why because bhakti na thakur speaking speaking that if the, all the kind of mixed devotees are present in one place the place where all the mixed devotees are there like every devotees are mixed devotees the uh, those people those devotees who don't know anything about much about the transcendental rasa that bhakti vinod thakur speaking then and at that place jahan har kisam ka adhikari the the place where uh, where there are uh, mixed adhikaris you know mixed devotees adhikari jahan misra adhikari vidwan hai us jagah at that place bhagwan ka naam bhagwan's naam prarthana like prayers and शरणागति कीर्तन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डू देयर वेयर देयर इज अ मिक्सिंग ऑफ भक्ति वेयर देयर इज अ मिक्सिंग ऑफ भक्ति लाइक देयर इज नॉट शुद्ध भक्ति अवेलेबल इन दैट वेयर वेयर देयर आर ऑलवेज शुद्ध प्योर गुरु वैष्णव देयर इफ समवन इज डूइंग रस कीर्तन देन देयर इज नो प्रॉब्लम देयर बिकॉज़ देयर प्योर गुरु वैष्णव्स आर प्रेजेंट but like the not like this where there are always pure guru vaishnav there we can hear and remember about that rasa kirtan as well it is no prohibition there because by doing by just remembering the ras kirtan bhakti mohan thakur speaking that it is important to understand about the uh, atma swarup of a jiva bhakti vinod thakur also speaking one point that if someone if one sahajiya is just singing one rasa kirtan lot of people can also complain about this that why ras kirtan leela gaan is uh, not going on bhakti vinod thakur speaking in this uh, that if if this kirtan paddhati or this uh, rasa kirtan is uh, done ye jo kirtan paddhati ka chalu hai whatever kirtan paddhati is going on kirtan paddhati ka akar khatam ho jaye 
if this kirtan padati just get destroyed just get finished then let it be finished let it be destroyed but still uh, uh, vaishnavas can get mangal in their life but whatever in the name of that rasa kirtan and they are just uh, uh, just discussing about the manjari bhajan if they are just doing opposite not to the point what the mahajans are speaking then then actual mangal is not possible then bhakti mohan thakur speaking if these strict rules and regulations are not uh, established and under that if that kirtan padati gets destroyed it is better because the vaishnavas will get mangal in that but like earth lobe in by and having a uh, just want to satisfy his material sense organs if he is doing ras kirtan there then it is prohibited prohibited that is actually the uh, that is actually the place of kali because he just wants to fight that's it Shila Prabhupada also has given one example regarding this that all those prakrit uh, rasik uh, in the in the name they are just uh, actually having this uh, false uh, false entertainment this false material entertainment but they don't know that that they haven't faced the transcendental rasa because if you have prem inside your heart only then you can just uh, get in touch with the transcendental rasa otherwise it is not possible to get in touch with the transcendental rasa if by following if that kirtan padati is getting destroyed then just vaishnava will get still mangal but if you are just uh, taking the uh, taking the value of that uh, transcendental rasa and uh, just having a uh, material rasa inside his heart then he'll become sahajya prabhupad already has given one example that if uh, that honey bee it will just uh, be taking a uh, 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 honey bee is attracted towards the uh, uh, lotus flower he just uh, taking the amrit uh, transcendent he is just taking the amrit from that uh, lotus and he has just taken that honey in one uh, glass bottle and that same smell of that honey and the and the shape and the beauty of that honey that uh, all the honey bees are just going to uh, get attracted towards that honey but by just seeing that honey inside the uh, inside a inside a inside a uh, glass inside the glass and they are just licking it because honey and the uh, honey bees there is one ball in between that glass glass is the ball and they just want to get they just want to collect the honey they just want to taste that rasa but still they are unable to do that madhu ka patro the patra the honey actually is placed inside a glass but the foolish honey bees they don't they can't understand that it is not possible to get the taste of that honey because me and between me and honey there is one participation part uh, part there is one uh, gapping between us there is one partition in between me and the honey so that's why i couldn't able to get that rasa of that honey because uh, there is a glass covering uh, on the bot on the bottle uh, over that honey where it is placed so it is not possible for the honey bees to get the actual taste of that honey they are just uh, uh, hovering around the glass and just uh, t- just licking the glass that's it because they are just getting attracted by the uh, smell of the honey they can't even uh, actually in actual 
दे कांट गेट द एक्चुअल टेस्ट ऑफ दैट हनी वॉट टू स्पीक अबाउट द एक्चुअल टेस्ट दे कांट इवन टच द हनी सो ऑल दीज प्रत्यक्षवादी मटीरियलिस्टिक इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड हु एवर मटीरियलिस्ट अवेलेबल इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड ऑल एक्चुअली दे आर एक्चुअली प्राकृत सहजिया एंड दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू एग्जिबिट दे आर मटीरियल रसा मटीरियल प्रेमा मटीरियल मटीरियल प्रेमा एंड ऑल दोज मटीरियल पर्सन एंड ऑल दोज प्राकृत सहजिया दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू गेट दैट मटीरियल प्रेम रस आस्वादन दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट दैट मटीरियल प्रेम बट एक्चुअली दे आर थिंकिंग दैट दे आर टेस्टिंग दैट ट्रांसकेंडेंटल प्रेम बट एक्चुअली इन इन एक्चुअल दे आर जस्ट टेस्टिंग मटीरियल प्रेम दे आर थिंकिंग दैट एक्चुअली दे आर टेस्टिंग दैट ट्रांसकेंडेंटल रस एंड दे आर जस्ट जस्ट डूइंग एंटरटेनमेंट इन द नेम ऑफ ट्रांसकेंडेंटल रस दे आर थिंकिंग दैट दैट रस हैज कम इन सेट दैम बट प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग दैट actually they can't they haven't got that uh, transcendental rush inside their heart they don't know what transcendental rush is all about they don't have the realization of even a one drop of that transcendental rush in this modern world in this modernized world some someone uh, whatever the bhagwan shri krishna's leela and kirtan whatever chandezas and vidyavati whatever has written regarding the rasa kirtan of shri krishna they while doing remembering and uh, hearing about that uh, about the rasa kirtan of uh, these vaishnavas written that they always they always have this in, in thing in in their heart that they can actually taste the uh, transcendental rasa of shri krishna but actually but in actual it is not like that because the aprakrit ras uh, is not there inside his heart like the example prabhupada has given like the kala pahad he he always went to to destroy the vrindavan temple and also the puri temple as well the kala pahar actually he is a, a big fraud and he just want to destroy all the vigraha and the temple of shri krishna related to krishna he just wants to destroy everything Prabhupad always used to speak that in actual they just want uh, they don't have uh, that transcendental Krishna rasa uh, Krishna prem rasa inside their heart like Kala Pahar he is always having this which are that I have just destroyed the temples so like Kala Pahar only we also have all the people are thinking that uh, I have just I have just destroyed the vikre of the Bhagwan I have just destroyed the temple of the Bhagwan but but uh, like kala pahad all the people a uh, person who is a dharmi they don't have this uh, uh, regulation of mind and they can't uh, predict that uh, what is uh, the vigraha of shri krishna and uh, krishna naam is uh, 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 identical to each other they always have this false ego inside their mind that yes i have destroyed the temple of shri krishna they are just uh, roaring this in play in front of everyone but prabhupad speaking that the aprakrit vigraha of shri krishna uh, cannot be destroyed by anyone nobody can destroy it. even the material person like kala pahad they always wanted from bhagavatam and bhagavad gita they are just finding faults in that <coughs> and they are also finding faults in quran as well the persons like kala pahad they are found finding faults some persons are uh, uh, for finding faults in quran as well <coughs> but the our aprakrit sanatan scriptures like uh, the transcendental scriptures of all the ved purana scripture all those material persons they are just uh, uh, finding faults in that the our purana and upanishads as well because they are thinking that yes you see you uh, they have already uh, shown that you see uh, this is wrong this is wrong in our shastra they are always finding faults in our shastra so prabhupa speaking like that ravan 
uh, has taken the Gita and he has uh, taken of Sita and he is thinking that he has already taken Sita in reality but uh, I will just uh, do bhog of uh, Sita but uh, Prabhupada speaking that uh, in actual in reality she ca- he can't get the actual darshan of Sita what to speak about touching the Sita he, Ravan has just taken the shadow Sita and uh, and uh, the Lakshmi of Shri Ramchandra Ji, Shri Sita Ji, uh, he is thinking that he has just uh, uh, taken Sita with her, but in actual, he is always in that Anand that yes, he has taken the Sita, the Lakshmi of Ram. <coughs> that is called, uh, Prabhupada is speaking, that in mentally it's like uh, taking banana. If uh, in this Bharat Varsha, if the map, if someone uh, is taking the map of uh, uh, this uh, India, if someone, a foolish person, <coughs> if he is just uh, touring the map of the India, if just tearing the paper on which the map is being embedded, if he is just uh, taking that paper and just uh, just uh, just cutting that paper, and he said that I have already destroyed India. He is number one foolish. <laughs> How can he destroy India? So that's why it is written. So that, that's why transcendental rasa cannot be compared with the material rasa. There is infinity difference between these two. It is already written in Ved and Purans all the time that you can't compare a transcendental, uh, transcendental rasa with the uh, material rasa it is beyond our material sense organs a transcendental rasa Shri Chitana Mahaprabhu also told that that this aprakrit vaktu transcendental object cannot be uh, material it is already there in Ved Vedanta and Upanishad but still those foolish people they always think that they are doing bhajan and they have this false ego that they are actually doing bhajan on their own effort and they don't want to get uh, into the bhajan life uh, by taking uh, Guru Vaishnav uh, Anugatya. Prabhupada also speaking, it's a very uh, unhappy, becomes very unhappy that all the Prakri Sahaja Sampradaya, they are just making a show of uh, uh, Rupa Goswami Pad Anugatya that they are following Srila Rupa Goswami Pad and uh, all those uh, Prakrit Sahajyas they are actually they are actually doing uh, uh, they are actually doing uh, Srila Rupa Goswami Pad Upadesh Amrit uh, they are following it 100% under their guidance they are just uh, making fool of the whole world like this but the thing is that all these Prakrit Sahajya uh, in, the, in their Sampradha they are they are not actually not doing uh, Srila Rupa Goswami Pad uh, Anugatya but re, in reverse they are they are not actually they are just uh, going opposite they are going against Srila Rupa Goswami Srila Sanatana Goswami Srila Raghunath Das Goswami and they are and they are they have a plan and program they have a very dirty plan and program that they uh, actually they have durvishandi they have dirty plan and program and they are just making uh, different different stories and they are just preaching that only that the person can think individual can think uh, all the uh, sahajiyas actually uh, can think that they are also following rup goswami and sanatan goswami but in actual who is following sanatan goswami path you can go up to the other part of the Navadvip that they are all doing uh, Gaurang Mahaprabhu Bhajan but they are doing Rupanuk Bhajan but in actual they are doing nothing, next to nothing. To do the Anugatya, to do the Anugatya of Srila Rupa Goswami Bhajan is a very far distant place but they are just making different different stories and uh, they are doing Aparad onto the lotus feet of Srila Rupa Goswami Bhajan like Jeev Goswami Path. 
in Vrindavan, lot of stories, a lot of things are going on that Jeev Goswami Pad has not done the Anugatya of Srila Sanatana Goswami and Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. If he has done that, then why they are why he has developed Swakya Bhav and why he has not developed Parikya Bhav? I have already told it in the previous week as well. Every person, every individual has a different vichar and he has a vichar that he, I am also Rupanuk because all those Gaudiyas, they are always following Rupanuk Dhara. They are following the Upadesh of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad and they just want to connect their name with that. Yet, yes, we are also following Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. And if we connect our name with the Shila uh, Rupanuk Dhara, then all the Gaudiya Samaj persons, they think that they are uh, the topmost. Always they think that they are topmost when they connect their name with Shila Rupa Goswami Pad. Jagatur Shila Bhakti Sarasur Goswami Thakur Prabhupada also. In Gaudiya, he is speaking, he is uh, writing. He has given a lot of uh, small short articles in Gaudiya. In those articles, he has written that uh, how to do uh, what is Gaudiya Bhajan Pranali. There is one article regarding that. And a lot of other vichars are also there, very, which are very important. God, in Gaudiya Vedan Pranali Prabandh, it is written that, that to do Gaur Anugatya Bhajan. And to do Gaur Anugatya Bhajan, all people are uh, just showing that we are doing uh, a Gaur Ma, Gaurang Mahaprabhu Anugatya. But Prabhupada speaking that uh, that Gaur, uh, Gaur Anugatya Bhajan, they are just taking the name of that. And by that name, that uh, they are uh, they are they are actually showing that they have just taken shelter of Gaurang Mahaprabhu Lotus Feet and uh, different different kinds of pranali and paddhati what is there in the market they are just uh, they are just showing that they are uh, uh, they are they are just creating a confusion in the mind of all those uh, Gaurang Bhaks that uh, the person who actually wants to get anugatya he just wants to put them in confusion because they just want to show that they are doing a uh, uh, anugatya of shri rupa swami pa shri gorang mahanubhav and they in the name of gorang anugatya bhajan they are just uh, doing next to nothing they are they are taking they are actually showing different different kinds of anugatya and by taking the in order to take the charan ashray of Gorang Mahaprabhu or to those persons they are just making them into confusion they are just cheating those individuals who actually want to get uh, Gorang Mahaprabhu's lotus feet because they have very they have a, a very uh, light shraddha so that's why they can't understand about gorang mahaprabhu's instructions because they are in the bonded condition and in the bonded condition every individual has different different kind of uh, every different kind of dharma they are establishing in front of them and the normal person the normal individuals bonded soul will be in confusion that what is the actual truth what is the actual updesh of shila rup goswami so all those bonded souls they have that pravirti of doing uh, they have the bhogma pravirti they just want to enjoy themselves so what that enjoyment is what they having their enjoying mode inside their heart it is uh, by this that they are taking different different kind of uh, vigraha and they are just making themselves preach like in different dharms and uh, we are also doing Gorang Mahaprabhu Bhajan and they are di giving different different titles of dharma and uh, in that what case all the tantric and the ashuddha aul baul nana niri sai all these are different kinds of sahajiyas where different kind of sahajiyas which are just showing that they are following Gorang Mahaprabhu but actually they are putting all the people in confusion before also it was very limited in the previous uh, time but now their uh, population has increased a lot Prabhupada also speaking that uh, the bonded souls have uh, this bhogma enjoying mood inside their heart 
दे आर एक्चुअली टेकिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ विग्रह डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ शेप्स एंड दे आर जस्ट गिविंग इट टाइटल ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट धर्म इन फ्रंट ऑफ दोज बॉन्डेड सोल्स एंड प्रभुपा स्पीकिंग दैट दैट हु आर ऑल धर्म ध्वजी प्रभुपाद ऑल टोल्ड दिस अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम दैट दैट ऑल दो धर्म ध्वज ऑलरेडी टेकन द फ्लैग ऑफ धर्म इन देयर हैंड एंड दे आर जस्ट वेविंग इट एंड बट इन एक्चुअल दे आर नॉट एट ऑल फॉलोइंग द एक्चुअल आचरण ऑफ गौड़िया गौड़िया गुरुवर्ग सो ऑल दीज फ्लैग वेवर्स ऑफ धर्म ध्वजी दे आर एक्चुअली फॉलोइंग दे कांट कट द भोग में प्रवृत्ति द इंजॉइंग मूड ऑफ द बॉन्डेड सोल एंड दीज बॉन्डेड सोल इन टर्ल्स आर टेकिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ वेरियस धर्म विग्रह इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल दोज बॉन्डेड सोल देयर बाय जस्ट क्रिएटिंग कन्फ्यूजन इन देयर हार्ट एंड माइंड एंड they they have that kapat aacharan inside their heart because of that because of that all the conditions of the bonded soul in the modern in the present condition that is why prabhupa speaking that it is very very uh, uh, bad so this kind of uh, this kind of this kind of shri gaur padashray uh, that false ego there inside their head that they have taken the uh, shelter of the gorang mahaprabhu that uh, they are just uh, by force they are just getting into gaudiya vicharadhara and gaudiya vishnu society they always want to post themselves that they are very shuddh bhakt and the actual arth actual meaning of the shuddh siddhant of the gaudiya mat they are not uh, uh, preaching that and they are just taking all the bonded souls uh, to hell to destruction and they are just uh, all these flag bearers of gaudiya mat that uh, they are saying that you can do bhajan and okay you can take fish and all everything and you can do bhajan as all are actually sahajiyas so because of that in this category this kind of persons who are in this category that kind of false ego which we have de- they have developed under that they are following lotus feet of gorang mahaprabhu that they are not following the shuddh aacharan and shuddh bhakti and they are not following the actual shuddh bhakt who is actually doing the aacharan of gorang mahaprabhu the instructions of gorang mahaprabhu he is following they are not following them and they are not following the shuddh bhakti dharma what the actual meaning of shuddh bhakti what is the actual meaning of shuddh bhakti and shuddh bhakt they are just uh, uh, reciting the different uh, wrong arth a uh, wrong meaning of uh, what the instructions of gorang mahaprabhu has uh, spoken and they are just uh, uh, take giving different different meanings and thus by thereby taking all the bonded souls of this world into hell they are just preparing them to go into hell so they are just want to say that they are actually under the guidance of uh, uh, roop goswami path and they always think that they are following the upadesh of what gorang mahaprabhu and shila roop goswami path uh, has given us and they are just uh, uh, this false ego what they have developed inside and they are not at all following the actual mahajan shrota pantha given by gorang mahaprabhu and roop goswami path and uh, they are just following a different pathway of their own and uh, the proper speaking that we don't have any relationship of that the gauriyam don't have any relationship with them they are actually not in the line of the pure shot pantha because they are following their different pathway of their own and if we will do the association of these kinds of sahajyas then we can't do the we can't get the actual vichar of shri larup goswami inside our heart and there will be a patan there will be definitely a fall down for that bonded soul 100% prabhupad also speaking one thing that those who are t- uh, under the guidance of shuddh gaudiya uh, bhajan under pure guru vaishnav who are actually those persons who are uh, 
नॉट डोंट हैव हु डोंट हु डोंट हैव द नॉलेज अबाउट दैट गौरिया शुद्ध श्रोत पंथा ऑफ द गौरिया मठ एंड एंड दोज पीपल हु आर टेकिंग द नेम ऑफ द प्योर श्रॉट पंथ ऑफ द गौरिया मठ एंड दे आर सेंग दैट प्रभुपात ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग दे आर नॉट स्पीकिंग अबाउट एनी रस तत्व विचार सो इट इज नॉट गुड सो आई विल जस्ट डेवेलप अ न्यू पाथ वे न्यू सिद्धांत विच आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ दोज बॉन्डेड सोल एंड आई विल मेक अ न्यू न्यू लेयर ऑफ द गौरिया मठ दे आर सेंग दैट Uh, so they are actually Or taking all the persons all the bonded souls into their wrong way so always they just want that lab puja pratishtha and they always want that uh, they should have that pratishtha in this whole uh, world and the they are just making new new pathway of what our previous mahajans have already told not to follow it they have already prohibited that pathway but still these kind of acharyas they are just moving on their pathway because our previous mahajans haven't told us to follow that pathway and they are not at all asking that to follow that new pathway what they have discovered so that the pathway which is not at all good for others to follow the mahajans which told that don't do so in in that case our gaudiya bhajan is incomplete and they just want that they should get pratishtha in this material world so that they can get all the lab puja and pratishtha and they can just uh, just by not following the actual shrot pantha guru varg mahajans and just Uh, these kinds of acharyas they are they, they are just actually uh, thinking that they are rupanuraga nuga doing bhajan like that but it's not actually like that so in this way if uh, these kind of people they will they are just uh, insulting the shuddh shrot pantha and they are also insulting the mahajans previous mahajans so because of that they cannot get uh, an actual brajras they cannot get that aprakrit transcendental ras they cannot get that in their own infinity uh, life so the door is closed for them those who are not following the mahajans and they are just insulting mahajans and what the mahajans have told us previously if they are not following they are uh, those who are not following the shuddh gaudiya pranali the shrot pantha uh, given by our mahajans actually they, they can't get that actual nirmal brajras they can't get the taste of that the, in their whole life in the infinity life they will not get that uh, nirmal brajras inside their heart and that the door is always closed for shuddh bhakti and they are just taking that uh, uh, that pratishtha just like stool and urine they are just taking la puja pratishtha like stool and urine and they just want to apply that stool urine on their body and under their anugatya who so ever is taking their anugatya they definitely all will go to hell for infinity period so in the bhakti samrit sindhu as well sindhu adi pramukho all those uh, important granth sa aur shastras written by shilarup goswami what it is not written there what bhakti vinod thakur and uh, has told not to follow all all actually they are actually dis- discovering innovating a new pathway they are just they are getting a new plan and program they just want to make a new bhajan paddhati so that uh, they are thinking more superior than the mahajans in the bhakti bhakti rasamrit sindhu which is the most important shastra because we have to follow that shastra it's very very important and to discuss that it is very very important and all that jab dharm etc we have to discuss it again and again it's very important and prabhupad's upadesh amrit is very very important to discuss and and shila rup go swami pad shila jeev go swami pad shila ragunath das go swami pad shila kaviraj go swami pad shila shamanand prabhu shila narottam das thakur shri shri nivas acharya shila sukesh vishnu chakravarti pad shri bal dev vidya bhushan all are actually gaudiya which gaudiya acharya and they are the top most of all the gaudiya acharyas and whatever the other shastran they have shown us we have to follow that under the under the under an actual parampara under the actual mahajans 
सो दैट द विचारधारा ऑफ दैट विचारधारा ऑफ दैट गुरु प्रणाली शुड बी देयर इन इंटैक्ट वे एंड वी कैन टेक द वी कैन डू कृष्ण नाम ऑल द टाइम अंडर देयर गाइडेंस बिकॉज ऑल अवर प्रीवियस महाजन्स दे आर ऑल शुद्ध भक्त ऑल जीव गोस्वामी नरोत्तम ठाकुर ऑल वी हैव टू डू देयर अनुगत्य एंड वी हैव टू फॉलो देयर इंस्ट्रक्शन अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ ऑल दीज महाजन्स वी हैव टू टेक द आश्रय ऑफ गुरु पाद पद्म दोज पर्सन हु जस्ट वॉन्ट मेचोरिटी इन देयर शुद्ध भक्ति दे कॉन्ट गेट एनी अनहैप्पीनेस एंड डिस्ट्रेस इन देयर लाइफ एट ऑल बिकॉज दे हैव टेक ऑन द शेल्टर ऑफ गुरु प्योर गुरु वैष्णव बिकॉज इन नाम भजन हरि नाम एवरी थिंग इज देयर इन साइड इन हिडन फॉर्म एंड शिला रूप गोस्वामी पाद इन श्री सामरे सिंद्रो इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द सिक्सटी फोर लिम्स ऑफ भक्ति एज वेल ही इज डिस्क्राइबिंग इट इन अ वेरी डिटेल्ड वे एज वेल ही सेंग दैट ऑल दो भक्ति अंग दैट सिक्सटी फोर लिम्स ऑफ भक्ति वॉट रूप गोस्वामी पाद एज टोल्ड अस that shri naam sankirtan uh, by taking the association of naam sankirtan everything we have to follow and and uh, we don't have to uh, make a new pathway uh, in that and we should not uh, follow that pathway in that new pathway it is not at all good we cannot uh, uh, take the pathway which is new which is actually innovated which is not there in the shastra or in the upadesh given by all the mahajans if you are doing that that it is it is very uh, it's not that good so all those in the anartha yukta avastha all those uh, do who are uh, following that apsampradays they have their different organization spiritual organization but in the name of this spiritual or they are saying that okay you if you have an earth inside or no worry you you can have an earth but at the same time you can hear raslina no worries with an earth you can hear but prabhupada speaking these are actually prakrit sahajya they are they are actually saying that they that they are saying that in earth in earth when when in an earth yukta avastha you can do madhuras bhajan which is uh, strictly prohibited they are just saying that in uh, anarth yukta avastha as well you can uh, te, you can do ras uh, madhuras bhajan he can do uh, madhuras bhajan in the when he has anarth in his height they are actually uh, 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 giving this upadesh and and they just want to take the taste of the parikyaras and uh, which is just an impartial uh, organ and they just uh, thinking that by their own pathway they are describing that and uh, by and they are just taking uh, some uh, they are taking some uh, uh, shlokas from bhagavatam and gita and they are just uh, reciting in front of those bonded cell like shri shankaracharya ji what he has done like vedant sutra he has just given commentary on vedant on like the sharirak bhasya he has given the commentary and he has taken the take uh, taken some shlokas from upanishads from some bhagavad gita like this so whatever is anukul whatever is good for him he has just selected all those shlokas so that he can make fool of people like shila keshav ko swami maharaj always used to speak that devils can also quote scriptures all those uh, demonic people all those asuras they can also uh, quote scriptures they can also take uh, uh, some shloka from the shastra they can also do a lot of tapasya they can also do lot of austerities they can but all these vicharadhara they don't have that realization inside their heart this keshav ko swami ra used to speak so all those asuras like hiranyakashipu he has all the uh, all has taken uh, uh, different different shlok from the shastras has taken uh, different different shloka shankaracharya from different different upanishads and bhagavad gita so that his mayavad siddhant can get more matured can get more nourishment how he is doing that so in the same way prakritik prakrit sahajya uh, organizations they are saying that Uh, in an earth you to say you can do bhajan madhur ras bhajan you can uh, hear about that so in the name of that parikya ras uh, 
in the name of parikaras they are saying that okay they are just making selected shlokas they are taking selected shlokas from the from chaitanya bhagavat chaitanya tritamrit they are taking out from him and they are just making a new pathway and just by avoiding the uh, pathway of the mahajans they are saying that it is actually shown by the mahajan but it is not that actual pathway what the mahajans are shown to us so under their just by taking their name they are just uh, uh, going uh, uh, to the opposite pathway of their own and they just are doing aparad and he they are taking of shri taking the name of shri rai ram shri roop sanatan and all under the guidance of this uh, five rasik mahajans they are just uh, taking pratishtha lab puja pratishtha and they are just doing aparad aparad onto their lotus feet day by day they are just uh, increasing their aparad and when they will die where they will go uh, we don't know and they don't know what about what is actually ras, rasik uh, rasik bhajan there is also one sampradaya who are just uh, lazy and they are just uh, going for paratantra and all uh, tantra vidhi and all and they are actually by their ignorance in their ignorant uh, condition they are uh, just following uh, they are thinking that whatever agyan is there inside their heart that only by chanting hare krishna hare krishna mala they are thinking that that is only bhajan they are just uh, preaching that uh, themselves that they are rupa nugraha nuga bhajan because they just became happy just by doing that only but the sadak uh, in the isolated condition he in nirjan nirjan condition means isolated condition he is doing hare krishna hare krishna only doing mala and artificially he is just uh, 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 making himself uh, that he is preaching and he is just in his mind always uh, uh, thinking about the uh, nirjan bhajan isolated bhajan just by taking in mind about the uh, ras leela and uh, the radha govind leela in his heart and he is just uh, making sure that uh, all his doors are locked and he is just uh, doing uh, mala hare krishna hare krishna inside the house and he is thinking that he is doing uh, uh, rupanug raganug bhajan and he has just uh, artificially thinking in his mind that uh, how the radha govind are doing vilas with each other and uh, externally they are saying uh, uh, they have uh, that tranadapi inside their heart but actually there is no tranadapi at all so this kind of bhajan this kind of condition of bhajan what they are showing this is not actual bhajan at all prabhupada always speaking one point that those who are doing nirjan bhajan who are doing isolated bhajan like uh, under the guidance of sahajya under the guidance of guru sahajya guru they are just doing uh, harina mala hare krishna hare krishna and uh, and just by money they are, they are just uh, as if uh, that sahajya guru they are giving money and just asking about their swarup because they just want to get the swarup by money and so these kind of people are so foolish that this is your swarup you are this sakhi you are this manjari just by uh, giving money to one sahajya guru and they are just going in the isolated condition and just doing hare krishna hare krishna prabhupad speaking that actually in actual those who are forcefully uh, doing uh, leela smaran artificially in their mind about the radha govind leela they are actually making a fool of all uh, they are acting making fool of themselves only because like this leela smaran is not possible they actually are asking from prakrit sahajya guru that uh, what is your swarup so he is asking that maharaj what is your swarup <laughs> so i was laughing so these are all actually sahajya activities they actually prabhupada actually have uh, told us all the siddhant vichar that the swarup actually uh, is exhibited on the own by the kripa of nam prabhu i will discuss it tomorrow prabhupad also speaking one point that those who are sahajyas guru and they are taking uh, the manjari and sakhi manjari swarup from them they are just buying it by the by their money power they actually they can't get uh, they just going into their isolated bhajan stage and just uh, 
जस्ट आर्टिफिशली दे आर रिमेंबरिंग दैट मंजरी स्वरूप एक्चुअली प्रोपर स्पीकिंग दैट दे आर ऑल प्राकृत दैट मटीरियल काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग दे हैव एक्चुअली इन साइड देअर हार्ट एंड देयर मटीरियल माइंड दे हैव जस्ट आर्टिफिशली क्रिएटेड इन देयर माइंड सो सो दे आर जस्ट आर्टिफिशली थिंकिंग ऑफ वन मंजरी रूप in their uh, in their mind and they are proper speaking that they are day day by day whole day they are just uh, they are they are just doing elite association with that uh, artificially based gopi what they have uh, got in their mind what uh, they have got from that sahajiya guru that which are they are just in an isolated uh, uh room they are just doing hari krishna hari krishna they are actually showing that they are doing hari bhajan in isolated state but they are actually doing elite association with that mentally concocted uh mentally concocted uh, gopi bhav uh, they are just uh, doing association with that because he uh also because he is actually murush and he is just uh, thinking that uh, he is doing association with that uh, gopi all those uh, uh, sahajiyas of radha kund and namadvip they actually they just got very angry just by hearing this why because they don't want to uh, hear about that absolute truth so nirjan bhajan we have to uh, do it with they are just taking uh, nirjan bhajan with the all tranadapi bhav inside there this is just all kind of drama this can't be accounted into actual hari bhajan nirjan bhajan leela smaran and that dhanya bhav it is there only possible for that siddh mahatma it's not possible for a bonded soul propad always in uh, speaking in vishnu of k one kirtan कृपा ऑफ नाम प्रभु इफ बाय द कृपा ऑफ संकीर्तन ओनली इट इज पॉसिबल इफ यू टेक द एक्चुअल कृपा ऑफ नाम संकीर्तन एक्चुअल नाम संकीर्तन देन नाम लीला स्मरण विल डेफिनेटली गो ऑटोमेटिकली बिफोर दैट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू गेट निर्जन भजन आइसोलेटेड भजन डू डू रूपानु का भजन बिफोर दैट रागनु का भजन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इट इज ऑल इन एवेटेबल सो इन दिस वे निर्जन भजन लीला स्मरण एंड धैन्य भाव दैट इट इज ऑल ऑल दीज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक आर देयर इन जगन जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी वनाथ भक्ति में ठाकुर गो भगवान दास बाबा जी इट इज पॉसिबल फॉर ऑल दी सिद्ध महाजन बट नॉट फॉर अ बॉन्डेड सोल एंड द सिद्ध महात्मा ऑल दो सिद्ध महाजन और ऑल दो असिद्ध महात्मा दोज हु आर नॉट एट ऑल एट द सिद्ध स्टेज एट द टॉप मोस्ट स्टेज इफ दे बाय फोर्सफुली दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रिमेंबर द वॉन्ट टू uh forcefully wanted to do this artificially wanted to forcefully do all this leela smaran and nirjan bhajan it is not possible for them at all so they can uh, just be uh, doing all those artificially crying and everything all those their anarth will definitely get increased proper speaking Pro- the anarth will not get removed in turn they will get their anarth to get increased so for them if they will go in that situation their anarth will just increase day by day that will increase day by day it will not get reduced because they are actually getting those anarth inside and they are actually they are increasing their anarth inside them but the actual sadhu the actual siddh sadhu actual sadhak they are they are actually following the rupanuk upadesh given by shila rup goswami pad what the rup goswami pad has given they are just remembering that under the guidance of this mahajans who are there in the short pantha they are just uh, uh, getting into different different kind of bhagavat seva and if i will just uh, give you like sadanand swami our sadanand swami told that every person 
they just want to do the darshan of bhagwan and they just want to kiss bhagwan they just want to take that gopi bhav manjari bhav oh i just want to take that bhava but they don't know one thing that that bhavna that that bhava inside your heart that bhavna for your bhagwat darshan that you want to take uh, yes, you want to kiss bhagwan and you want to uh, do a lingam of bhagwan with the gopi bhav this kind of uh, this is actual uh, this is actually uh, a stone in the way of your actual hari bhajan you don't know what kind of uh, barrier it is in the way of your actual hari bhajan because your anarth because all that anarth rashi which you have collected inside your heart it will not you will not get rid of that but in turn it will increase your uh, anarth and you will get more and more barriers in your actual hari bhajan and uh, and whatever uh, uh, by just uh, want to take uh, uh, darshan of bhagwan this is actually a material which are and that is a big barrier in the way of hari bhajan actual hari bhajan i want to do uh, the i want to take darshan of bhagwan this kind of vichar this is the actual barrier for uh, shuddh bhajan so in order to get rid of this uh, uh, bhajan that how we can uh, do under the guidance of guru var we can do seva of bhagwan and we can uh, serve pure guru vaishnav so in this way we can uh, uh, get more usefulness in that otherwise uh, we will get uh, more and more anarth because it is better to serve pure guru vaishnav how bhagwan will get satisfied with us just by doing seva of bhagwan bhagwan can be satisfied can't be satisfied but there should be one bhav there should be uh, one uh, desire that i have to do seva for the satisfaction of krishna whatever i am doing i don't have any one drop of self satisfaction inside my heart this kind of thing should be there inside the heart of a sadhak actual sadhak how to do service of bhagwan so that he can get satisfied it is more practical so swami sadanand swami is speaking from heart or and आर्टिकल is not practical ha eh? with a mood to serve bhagwan it is more practical with a mood to, with a mood to serve bhagwan is more practical kyunki why e log because because in they are doing all nirjan bhajan under the guidance of the mahajans kaur kishor baba bhakti vinod thakur prabhupad under their anugatya they are thinking that uh, they have done nirjan bhajan so we can also do nirjan bhajan so by this uh, doing the efforts to do nirjan bhajan artificially they are actually doing all leela smaran and they always thinking about uh, the leela smaran of radha govind but they don't know that their anarth inside their heart it is increasing day by day previous week what i have discussed this shloka nashto prayesh abhadreshu nityam bhagavata sevaya iska charcha kiya tha this i have already discussed in previous week that almost when the anarth is gone and your uh, heart is just going uh, in uh, hari katha and you are getting the association of uh, hari katha you ka, you are actually serving granth bhagavat and bhagavat bhakt bhagavat and you have that equal prema for bhakt bhagavat and granth bhagavat and you are getting anand from that then that will be success in your bhajan actual bhajan that is the key for actual bhajan that is the key for the actual gateway to get actual bhajan to get actual bhajan artificially and artificially 
वॉट एवर असिद्ध व्यक्ति हु इज नॉट एट ऑल सिद्ध एट दिस पॉइंट दे आर एक्चुअली फॉलन एंड दे आर डूइंग ऑल दे आर जस्ट क्रिएटिंग एन आर्टिफिशियल पाथवे एंड दे आर जस्ट रिमेंबरिंग द लीला स्मरण बिकॉज दे आर जस्ट गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर अनर्थ इन साइड देअर हार्ट एंड दे आर जस्ट क्राइंग एंड दे आर हेयर हेयर टिप्स आर गोइंग अप दे आर जस्ट मेकिंग जस्ट एक्सक्यूजिस एट बिकॉज इन दिस वे वन ड्रॉप ऑफ अनर्थ विल नॉट गो इन रिवर्स ऑल अनर्थ विल अगेन इंक्रीज इन साइड देयर हार्ट अ साधक शिलरूप गोस्वामी पात अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ उपदेश अमृत उपदेश ऑफ शिलरूप गोस्वामी दे विल एंगेज हिमसेल्फ इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सर्विसेज इफ ही विल नॉट एंगेज हिमसेल्फ इन डिफरेंट सर्विस ऑफ भगवान देन ऑल दिस आर्टिफिशलिटी भाव विल नॉट गो they have to do the anugatya of shila rupa swami pad they have to follow the instruction of rupa swami pad have to do different different kind of bhagavat seva they have to get into that and if they will not uh, make busy in a different bhagavat seva then that artificiality then then uh, maya will definitely get inside their heart and they will just get give that reaction inside his heart maya devi and the actual bhajan will not get uh, inside their heart and more and more anarth they will get collect inside their heart so the sadak always have to remember about the upadesh amrita of shila rup goswami path and he has to uh, get into into different different kind of bhagavat seva under mahajan paddhati then he cannot get uh, out from the maya and he will not get krishna at all so to get to get established in sambandh gyan the bhajan hari bhajan cannot get started without sambandh gyan so sambandh gyan is so so much important so to get established in that sambandh gyan because mahaprabhu has where wherever he has gone whether he is gone to bangladesh whether he is gone to previously it was india only but wherever mahaprabhu has gone महाप्रभु हैज गिवन टोल्ड अबाउट संबंध अभिधान प्रयोजन ही हैज जस्ट टोल्ड दैट टू एवरी वन दैट कृष्ण भक्ति इज अविधे एंड प्रेम इज प्रयोजन वेदर वेयर एवर महाप्रभु वॉज गोइंग वेयर साउथ इंडिया वेदर ही इज गोइंग टू नॉर्थ इंडिया वेदर इज गोइंग टू वृंदावन वेयर इज गोइंग टू काशी ऑल्सो ही इज गोइंग टू बांग्लादेश एवरी वेयर महाप्रभु हैज जस्ट गिवन वन वन विचार ओनली दैट संबंध अभिधेन प्रयोजन तो वॉट इज संबंध अभिधेन प्रयोजन वॉट द विचार दैट महाप्रभु हैज टोल्ड प्रभुपाद ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक दैट संबंध ज्ञान it should get established inside the heart after that only bhajan hari bhajan is possible without that it is not possible if the sambandh gyan is not established inside your heart then uh, our hari bhajan is not uh, started yet so prabhupad used to speak this point hari bhajan is not at all possible without sambandh gyan it 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 cannot get started what to speak about actual bhajan so you are speaking there but all those acharyas who are just making it reverse that they are just uh, doing a uh, uh, acharan in reverse of mahaprabhu and prabhupad that what to do for sambandh gyan to get sambandh gyan we have to we have to take the shelter of that guru so oh, that guru who has that actual sambandh with uh, uh, krishna the nourishment you will get of the sambandh gyan you will get sambandh gyan inside your heart only or to take the shelter of that exact sadguru who has actually established his sambandh with shri krishna who is uh, uh, shri krishna uh, who is sambandh gyan is not uh, is not yet fixed uh, so if you will just take shelter of that sadguru of that guru then you will not uh, get success so that's why prabhupada is speaking that i will take the shelter of that only sadguru that guru those who can 100% who can give me mangal and the way of krishna bhajan i will just give atma samarpan on to the lotus feet of that guru those who have just given me 100% 
हंड्रेड परसेंट मंगल इन कृष्ण भजन हंड्रेड परसेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट सक्सेस इन दिन द एक्चुअल मंगल इन माई लाइफ दैट ओनली आई विल टेक द शेल्टर ऑफ दैट गुरु अदरवाइज आई विल नॉट टेक सो इट मीन्स दैट दोज those persons who don't have established samband again inside their heart so from them if we will take diksha your diksha is unsuccessful in that case those who have taken diksha from guru from last 40 years 50 years but still they haven't got established themselves in samband again then it is not possible for them to get into hari bhajan for that they have to Uh, for that uh, the uh, thousands of people are doing anugati of that person only so for them nothing will happen yes because they are, some sukriti they can uh, get but i don't think they will get any sukriti because they haven't uh, get about the guru tatva how they are doing bhajan for 40 50 years but still they don't have any sambandh again with krishna with guru vishnu they had just doing preaching they have given all math mandir temples everywhere but still they don't have that sambandh gyan with the guru vishnu and bhagwan i can give you uh, a proof of that if there is no establishment of sambandh gyan if there is no nourishment of sambandh gyan then why he is uh, talking against gaudiya math i am just challenging you one thing that i am giving you a siddhant vichar that if this is actually siddhant vichar what i am talking if he just want to cut the sambandh with the godiamat he don't want to talk about the parampara of godiamat and he just want to make his new siddhant vichar new pathway so whether he is doing uh, ashray of uh, uh, siddh mahatma from last 40 over 50 years still his diksha is incomplete because he don't get the he is not established in sambandh gyan so like we have a sambandh gyan with my mother and i have the sambandh relationship with my mother so if um, if someone if someone will uh, do if someone is disrespecting godiamat and disrespecting prabhupad then kuch nahi aata jata then they don't know anything like and you are not feeling that reaction inside your heart then it means that you have not developed that sambandh again inside your heart if you have that uh, sambandh that relationship you will get angry because why you are not getting angry because you don't have sambandh so whatever i am talking about the godiya sampradha all those who are just uh, insulting godiya guru varg and whatever the mahajans have given us they are just going uh, over at over it and they are just making uh, a new pathway new uh, siddhant vichar actually they are uh, patit guru they are fallen guru he is not guru he is a fallen soul i will just discuss this on uh, t- uh, in the next hari katha tomorrow next week so shila rup ko swami pad upadesh amrit we have to do the anugatya and uh, by just taking the shelter of Shil- lotus feet of shila rup ko swami we have to uh, take the shelter of bhakt bhagavat and granth bhagavat and we have to get ourselves established in different bhagavat seva and we have to uh, get established under the mahajans anugatya we have to do the actual uh, uh, seva uh, and uh, Uh, because of the abhinivesh mixture of maya inside our heart it cannot go from our heart if we will not do anugatya so to get established in sambandh gyan is uh, under the guidance of that sadguru who has actually uh, followed that uh, uh, followed the guru, uh, ha- followed the instructions of pure guru vishnu according to their shrant pantha godiya according to the godiya shrant pantha they are in the line of that you know otherwise nothing can be done whatever you can take thousands of people are taking diksha and they are taking this kind of diksha and they are just uh, uh, they are just uh, getting themselves on the uh, pathway of death that's it they are just uh, dying day by day so in order to get uh, nourishment for your sambandh gyan <laughs> so get established in the sambandh gyan prakrit sambandh gyan we have to get the shelter of that sadguru who has who sad that sadguru has a link with our 
प्रीवियस महाजन एंड दे आर इन द लाइन ऑफ द श्रोत पंथा प्योर लाइनेज ऑफ शुद्ध भक्ति दैट अंडर दैट महापुरुष वी हैव टू डू द सेवा ऑफ गुरु प्रपाद एंड वी हैव टू We have to do the shravan of tattva siddhant of all the shastras. It is very important. Without seva, if uh, he is just uh, taking uh, without uh, acharan, if he is just uh, reciting lot of shastras and he is just remembering it and just speaking in front of the public, uh, so it is nothing but uh, just a show off. I have already, I have uh, one acharya has told me that. Uh, uh to one sadhu that uh, you can just uh, give me some ujwal nilmali and all so that i can in isolated uh, place i can just uh, 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 read all this and i was just uh, laughing at this how he is just talking about this i will just talk this about uh, tomorrow uh, what he has told so it is very important to understand this so this tattva gyani university he has that rarity in his uh, it is very rare those tattva gyani uh, in this world we whether we'll get one two or three it's very rare to get first thing is that uh, first thing is that uh, uh, we can't get into the shravan kriya that the tattva gyan uh, that uh, person we can't get because no person is there and if they get one sadguru and they can understand that tattva tattva darshan then that person can't get into that realization so that's why that atma tattva realized soul is very very rare in this world and if there is one uh, that atma tattva realized soul then the persons who will uh, do shravan of that atma tattva are very rare so we have to take the shelter of shri upadesh amrit of shri larup goswami so that it can sit inside our heart and we can just get uh, uh, rapid improvement in our krishna bhajan आश्चर्य के पास पावन नमो नमः